Welcome everybody. We're back to uh, pizzas today. Yeah. And this time we went to Pi Squared, which is owned by, uh, partly owned by Van from mm -hmm. our live chat last week. Yeah. It's at 34 Grenfell Crescent, just by Slack Road. Yeah, it looks like a very industrial area. Mm -hmm. and You wouldn't even expect a restaurant to be there. Mm -hmm. Pizza is a Ro Roman style pizza. So what's different about the pizza is the dough. So mm -hmm. the dough itself, it ferments for three days. So the yeast eats up lots of the flour, leaving it light and fluffy with air bubbles. So it's easier for our stomachs to digest. Mm -hmm. From what we see so far mm -hmm. and how it smells, it looks really good yeah. and I'm excited for it. So. Yeah, so this is like <clears throat> keeping it simple is sometimes better than, than mm -hmm. uh, putting too much stuff on. Yeah. And that's, that's exactly what I see over here where it's like keeps the, the ingredients much, pretty much simple. And these two options are not yet on their menu. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Rustic and this is the, the Diablo Diablo, one. so these are two exclusive pizzas that we are fortunate to get. Mm -hmm. And we were excited about these ones because this one's the spicy one and this was the... It's the, like a classic kind of Italian style topping pizza. So mm -hmm. there's the arugula, also known as rocchetta in Italian. I still remember. Oh! <laughs> uh, there's the prosciutto, cherry tomatoes. Okay. And cheese and sauce. Oh. Cheers. Guys. Cheers everybody. Cheers. like a saltiness to it. Mm. Yeah, probably prosciutto. I'm actually yeah. not a fan of the, the greens. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's 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 just weird for me, that's all. Yeah. yeah. But that's... the prosciutto is really good on it. Yeah. The Do meat you is... normally eat like arugula? No. Okay. That's why it Makes tastes sense. bitter to me. Yeah. Because I'm I'm not used to eating arugula. Mm. That's what yeah. it is. Arugula. It's almost like a bitter sour taste from the yeah. arugula, but mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, I didn't expect the it to retain this much crunch mm -hmm. when we traveled all the way back here. And yeah, I was afraid it might get soggy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like I like the proportions of the, mm -hmm. the sauce, the cheese, and the toppings. And look at those nice bubbles. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, mm. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could eat an entire box. Of I was salt. just gonna say this feels like the kind of pizza where you could have like quite a few slices, but you won't feel really bad after it. Mm. Mm. Not saying you should, <laughs> but I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. That's like probably the saltiness from the cheese too. Mm. The mozzarella is really good. Right? Yeah, it's subtle, eh? You don't see that much cheese on it, but you can taste it still. Mm -hmm. It's a nice balance of sauce, really nice balance of cheese. Mm -hmm. And then I really like the arugula on it, and the prosciutto is nice as well. Mm. I like the prosciutto. I don't like the arugula. <laughs> <laughs> Another important part about food is like texture. Mm -hmm. And I just, just like the cr crunchiness of this. Mm -hmm. It's like really nice. This is good ASMR pizza. Mm. Yeah. Real. I almost feel rude being so crunchy and just biting into this, but I'm like, oh, this is natural for us. Even though they don't sell dipping sauces, mm -hmm. this crust would have went well with a, a garlic sauce. I think anyways. Oh no. I can see that. Mm-hmm. This is freaking good, man. It reminds me of focaccia. Focaccia bread? Yeah, because it has that nice flavor to it on its own, just like plain bread. But then focaccia is usually a little thicker, right? It's thicker, yeah. yeah. So that was really good for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not into the arugula, but I could I could see why people like that one. This one I'm really hoping to, to uh, check out. So, so this has salami, you said the chorizo on it. Oh, yes. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like you get it. the spice immediately. Yeah. I think um, for people that aren't used, are used to regular pizzas that we, th we believe is regular pizzas in North America, mm -hmm. they would uh, Gravitate to, gravitate this, one to this one, yeah. yeah. Rather than that one, that one I think people that are more traditional, I guess, yeah, or even people that are a bit healthier yeah. that are used to arugula would like this one. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying this is like the pepperoni pizza? Yeah. I yeah, mean, exactly. This is like the vegetarian option. Yeah, yeah. Which isn't? It's not bad. Yeah. I do like the. It's just the, bad for you. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know what? Technically. It does taste better with vegetables because it lightens up the, yeah. the pizza. Yeah. 
because this one can get kind of heavy if it had like a <clears throat> I don't know like a bit of vegetables to it. It would yeah. really lighten it up a bit. But I like this just because it's like it's got that spice and that meaty flavor to it. So yeah. I. I'm gravitating towards that. Yeah, way. it's like the flavor of the cheese, the yeah. meat, the little spice, you said yeah. the saltiness. Yeah. And the meat is on top. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> this is one thing that uh, Vanessa keeps on arguing about. <laughs> Have the, the toppings at the, the top of the... Yeah. It's called don't, toppings for a reason. Don't yeah. bury them <laughs> in cheese because then they get soggy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like wet meat. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I want that crisp, a little crisp. We had to order ours like a little earlier, probably before noon. Yeah. And then uh, we told them what time we were going to pick it up, and then we just picked it up at that time. Mm. But I'm not totally sure if uh, if you just call in. I don't know, like if it's they have enough material yeah. available to, or supplies available for the for the pizza that you want. Yeah. So you might have to call in. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely uh, re recommend this one. Mm -hmm. I do recommend this one. Not this particular pizza, but yeah. yes, I I do recommend. I would. Actually, be curious what their pepper just plain their pepperoni. plain pepperoni would taste like. Their pepperoni mm. looks good. Yeah, because yeah. it'd be similar to this, right? Um, those are smaller. Yes, yeah, right? the smaller ones. Oh, okay. and then it has like the nice crisp on the yeah, edge. Yeah, I think with those smaller ones, what's nice is that it's like you get a perfect bite of pepperoni yeah. per bite. You know. Mm. Uh, mm. Last but not least, we're it's called pie squared because it's kind of like squared off. Yeah. Uh, into the size of the pizza, but the one that we ordered was cut in half, right? So a whole slab would be. Yeah, probably like the just this complete the like, two together, mm -hmm. like put together like that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's that's quite a lot. That's a lot of pizza. <laughs> yeah. Half slab people. would be good enough for two hungry people. Mm -hmm. Like, so me and Brian probably could have just split this one alone, or sorry, yeah. this one alone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed what we showed you today, and check out Squared Pie Squared if you can. We'll see you next week. Bye. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>